in today's lesson, we're going to build this animated counter that animates a number to any value that we want. And it's also going to animate by any increment that we want. Right now, it's set to animate to increments of five. All right. And this lesson here is really just a part one to our next lesson. Where we're going to take this counter and turn it into a reusable green sock effect. All right. And we'll do some fancy stuff like have comma formatted values like you're seeing up here. And once it's an effect, we'll be able to use it multiple times in sequences with different settings. So today's lesson is going to be really cool. We're going to go over some basics. And I'm also going to show you sort of the wrong way I would have done it if I hadn't learned something really pretty cool this weekend. So let's get going. So what I want to do today is show you how we're going to take this number zero, which is inside of a span with an ID of students count and animate it up to 10. In the JavaScript, I have some code here already because as of a few hours ago, I was going to show you sort of my old fashioned way of doing this, but then I realized there's a much better way. And what I would have showed you is that in order to animate uh, this number here, we would first have to animate a value in a generic JavaScript object and then update this DOM element here, all right? The thing to know about GSAP is that at its core, it is a property manipulator. So we can take a generic JavaScript object like this, pass it in as the target of a tween, and tween the value. And in order to see those values changing, I would have shown you to use an onUpdate function to log out counters value as that tween runs. So I would say, hey, let's go into the browser console and run this and you'll see that we get those numbers between zero and 10. So, and then I would have gone one step further and said, oh, you know what? In order to uh, display that here, instead of logging that value out, you know, I'm already having a reference to my student's count element. I would have done something like, hey, you know what? Let's say that uh, display dot inner text equals something like counter dot value. And then when I run, you'd be horrified to see that we have all those weird decimals, okay? Uh, since GS DevTools is hooked up, we can scrub through that tween, but you don't wanna see four different decimal places here. So I would probably just very quickly say, oh, you know what, we can just wrap this in something like a uh, math.round. And let me just make sure I close that off. And then the next time I run, you would see, oh, look at that. Perfect, all right, our numbers are rounded and we're animating that zero up to 10. But again, this is sort of the old way I would have done it until I realized that I had saw in the GreenSock forums from uh, Zach that we can actually target the inner text of a DOM element directly in a tween. So what I'm gonna do is just get rid of everything and we're gonna start fresh with a new gsap.2 tween and the target is going to be that element with the ID of students count. And what I learned from Zach in the GreenSock forums this weekend is that we can just target the inner text property of that DOM element directly. And what I'm going to do is animate it to the value of 10. So let's run. And there you go. Without any fancy on updates, we are now tweening that DOM element's inner text property directly, okay? Now we still have these horrific values after the decimal point. So let me show you how to get rid of those. What we're gonna do in this case is tap into GSAP3's new snap plugin, which was previously called round props. And for the snap plugin, I'm going to pass in a string name of the value that I want snapped. So I'm gonna say inner text. And using this syntax, the snap plugin is going to, by default, just snap this value to the nearest integer. It's important to note that this snap functionality is built into GSAP's core, so we don't need to load a separate plugin or register it. So now when I run, we're gonna get all the magic that we need, and we're gonna have those numbers animating zero to 10, and we have perfect, nice looking integers there. And of course, as you know, I love, we can scrub through it all with GS Dev Tools. Now, let's say I wanted to go to a higher number, all right? Let's go all the way to 1,000. And let's just make the duration a little bit longer here. We'll say the duration is going to be one second. Let me run. As you can imagine, 
the numbers are going to get bigger, and they go all the way to 1,000. Well, what if we didn't want to see it change, you know, through every number all the way to 1,000? What if we wanted to snap to increments of 10, 100, or 5? Well, what we can do in the snap plugin here is we can use another syntax called the object syntax where we can pass in um, an increment that we want to snap to. Let me get some better formatting here. Just go to format JavaScript. That helped a little. Let me put this object on a new line here and we'll bring this guy down. Boom, there we go. And inside of this snap object, what I want to say is that we're going to use the inner text property. We want to snap it and I'm going to say increments of 10. So now when I run, it's going to count up by 10. There we go. A little too fast for you? No problem. We'll scrub through with GS Dev Tools. So you'll see now that I am animating that value up and snapping to values of 10. As you can imagine, I could go to 100 or do any other increment that I like. Now this is all well and good, but there's one little issue that's actually a pretty big issue. Suppose we want to start with something like 1000. Let's go to my HTML and let's type in that I have 1000 students and maybe I want to animate up to 5000 students. So as you'd imagine, I could put this as a 5000 and maybe I'll snap at 100 and I'll run. And this is actually going to work, but you know, when you get to these you no know, four digit and larger numbers, you may want to have them, you know, comma formatted, all right? So what if in our HTML, we threw in a little comma here and then ran? This is where we're going to get into some trouble. It may have looked like it worked, but let's go back to the beginning. Oh, we start at zero, comma, zero, zero, zero. Hmm, didn't really work. And then it's going to go all the way up to uh, 5,000, all right? Um, this probably isn't what you want to see. So what I'm going to do is next week, I'm going to show you how we can not only get around that little problem, but we can take this code here and transfer it into a green sock effect so that we can get something like this. In this demo here, you'll see that I have two values. The first one is comma formatted. And when I play, the update uses comma formatted values. We have a sequence of the second number coming in. And over in my JavaScript code here, uh, down below, uh, I'm building a very simple timeline using a custom effect called counter. I'll show you how to build that out, but what it's gonna allow us to do is specify an end value and a custom increment. So we can build our little chains of animation like this, and you'll see now that that 2000 one up here, we are incrementing by values of 10 as we're fading in, and the displayed values are comma incremented. And then when we get to the next set here, um, it's incrementing by one, all right? So it's going to be a very flexible approach. You're gonna love it. We're gonna tap into a lot of the stuff we learned previously with register effect. And if you've been in the club for a while, you may wanna just take a stab at building your own custom effect that does this, all right? Obviously, I'm gonna show you next week and I have a few tricks up my sleeve, but uh, it's a good little challenge. Oh, and before I go, I do now realize that the word thousand here is a touch redundant. Oops. Anyway, play around with today's demo, do what you want with it, and we'll take it to the next level in the next video. Check out this video to learn more about the Creative Coding Club. Join today and unlock over 90 premium green sock tutorials. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving it a like. My channel is packed with tons of fun green sock tips like this. Have a great day.